Hi guys! Oh my gosh, it's been a while, eh? It's been two days. I meant to jump on yesterday and the day just got away on me. Um, but I wanted to say hi. Um, yeah, yesterday, sorry, shabby chic vintage chick here. My name is Angie. I'm in the beautiful Burrito Lakes, Ontario. If you're seeing the live up above, uh, then you've got me live. And thank you and welcome for stopping by and watching what I'm doing. And of course, if it's not there, then you're watching on the replay. And if you could give me a hashtag replay, that would be awesome. So yeah, yesterday was just a crazy day. Uh, the day got away with me, on me. Um, we had um, an inspector come in and checking on our renovations and stuff. So that went well. Yay! And we're done this stage and we're going to take a break before we do any more. Um, and then after that, what else did we do last night? I don't know. It was just, it was just a crazy day, I guess. I can't remember what else we even did. Anyways, um, today I meant to go live earlier and, uh, my brother who's autistic is moved back into the old home. And, uh, so he needed his, some of his furniture. So we did that today and took him some meals and, uh, it was a nice day for a drive. It was a beautiful day for a drive, trying not to get out and about too much. I've got some crazy hair going on here, don't I? I had my sunglasses on just to pull my hair back, but it's going crazy on me. Um, yeah, so we uh, went out for the drive to Kempville. It was nice. Wasn't planning on going in any stores because we're doing that social distancing thing and I don't want to get sick. Um, I've got enough problems. <laughs> so we weren't planning on going to any stores, but unfortunately he was out of bottled water and needed some more canned food. Um, he doesn't really cook much. He just does like microwave dinner. So we bring him microwave or we bring him leftover dinner kind of not leftovers, but we make them dinners and then he freezes them and he can thaw them out and stuff like that um, and cook them in the microwave. And then he does like his hungry man dinners and stuff like that. And then so he does do like canned chunky soups and stuff like that too. So we thought we'd get him some more of those and he needed his bottled water. So we ended up that we had to venture into Walmart and yeah, the shelves are getting bare. It's, it's kind of creepy. Um, but I'm home now. We had dinner, watched a little TV with the young one, and then I thought I'd jump on and uh, get at the second level of this craft. But I also wanted to take a minute and say thank you, thank you, thank you to um, people that are sending me gifts. It's awesome. We love it. Um, I got one here from uh, Lee Wu who sent us, um, it was a little note saying that she was encouraging us to uh, keep crafting and so it was cute she sent me some ribbons and it's really cute we got ladybugs and polka dots and we got some um eggs they say 98 cents um eggs with little pom-poms so uh, those will be cool i'm gonna chalk on that i don't know if it's a one or a two pack oh it's a two pack so that's really cool actually there's two of them so we might do um we might have a few of those. Um, we also got a gift from Craig Belvin. Thank you. And it's uh, it's a dose of happiness, apparently. And it's um, coffee samples, I guess is what it is. Um, it's coffee samples and a lemon drink. And it's supposed to like boost your energy and make you feel happy. And we all know in this day and era, we could use a little extra happiness. So. I don't like trying things right away, so I get my hubby to try things first, but that'll be fun. Um, and then we got, ooh, let's go to this one. Then we got this other gift that was from Beth, and she sent me some rolls of jute, which is thinking awesome because I have a roll of jute, but mine's much thinner, and I have a project that I wanted to do this with, and I didn't have the big heavy stuff. like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is freaking awesome. Because I'm trying to stay out of stores and stuff. Like, I don't want to go. I'd probably have to go to a hardware store or something for that. And I am trying to stay out of stores. So, thank you, thank you, Beth. Um, I love that you guys are being so supportive and the great craft. Like, if you guys have craft ideas, feel free to share them with me. No, you don't have to send gifts. I appreciate them. I love, love, love them. But you don't have to do that. Just even your craft ideas and that, that'll be fine. Um, then I got another gift here from Sue Joel's, which happened to be three more sample packs of that same coffee. Apparently people think that I really need that boost of happiness, which probably I do. Um, 
like I said, my hubby's going to try it first because he's my guinea pig. And then I'm going to try it after that. So that is stinking awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I love the gifts and I love to know that you're watching and you're encouraging me on and all that fun stuff. Um, so let's get on with the project though. So this is the board that we did the first layer on and we layered the glue and then we did a layer of Neptune Wise Owl chalk paint. And as it dried, it did this amazing crackling thing. Now, what I did learn was to do it all in one direction. If this was the finished coat, I would have been a little disappointed because I brushed it all this way, which was great, like not on here, but on the edges. I brushed it all the glue this way and then painted over it. And then I painted sideways for some reason on that side and it actually crackled sideways. So it's only the first layer, so it's not a big deal, but that was, it's good to know. I've never ever done this before with the glue and stuff. So that was good to know. So we're gonna do a second layer. And we're just gonna take our Elmer's glue a good amount of it because I think I want it to crackle more than oops I almost spilt it that'd be bad um I want it to crackle more than it even did last time so we're gonna take a a good hefty amount of it here and we're gonna apply that all over it again it almost looks like the glue is separated a little bit maybe oh my this glue just looks like that all the time I don't know but we're gonna do it a little a little heavier in spots and I guess as it dries it just separates with the chalk paint and it leaves these amazing cracks so we're gonna do a few layers which I thought would be tons of fun and it'll give us that old crackled wooden wood pane that's kind of like been beaten up by the storm kind of look so far it's working so I think this is gonna be awesome and then the second layer hopefully will crackle in different spots and then we'll get the multi layers of it so that it's really old and it's been painted many times kind of look. That's the plan I'm going for. So I'm just going to put a thick layer on, heavier in some spots and no real rhyme or reason anywhere but just caking it on. going to need more glue than that. I think we have a large one. So have you guys been crafting at all? What are you doing while you are social distancing? Are you avoiding the stores or are you out there stocking up? Walmart today in Kempville, um, the meat section was full. It had lots of meat. Of course, there's no toilet paper and there's no sanitizer, um, but there is lots of meat in the Kempville one. But I see on most of their shelves, there is a limit of one per customer on stuff now because of course everybody is going crazy, panicking. And I don't think I'm panicking, but I just want to be prepared, especially with Stephen, because if things get too bad, I don't want to have to drive all the way to Kempville, which is like 45 minutes away. So I've got him all set up and prepared um, that he could probably survive a couple weeks if he needed to. But, um, of course, if it's not too, too bad, then I probably will venture down at least once or twice more just because when he doesn't have any outings and he's autistic, he's, he gets lonely really fast. And of course he's living on his own, um, which is totally different to him. He always lived with mom up until now, like till August or April when she passed away. And then he came and stayed with us for a little bit, but that didn't work out so good. Um, I'm his little sister and he doesn't think I... I have any authority even to make him take his meds so that didn't work out so well so he's back in Kempel he has a worker that pops in like once a day with him just to make sure he's taking his meds he seems to be doing better with them on that and so far he seems happy um, he seemed pretty happy to see us today though and uh, all is good there so it's good to know he's adjusting it takes a little worry off of us so there we go, we've got a good first coat. I see Brittany is watching, hey! And Tasha, welcome back. Thank you for popping by and watching me do this. So this time I've got a heavier layer, as you can see. I'm just gonna stick the lid on this because I am clumsy and I will spill that. And then that's just gonna get a little tacky while I open up my can of Wise Owl Chalk Paint again. 
Um, I used to sell Wise Owl, so I have a lot of it. I love Wise Owl, I'm just not selling it anymore. Um, this one is called Beeswax, and it's and it's just a very creamy yellow. It's not a very vibrant yellow. It's kind of rustic and old, I find. Um, I could knock down the pieces on the side, and they would go soft again, but I don't want chunks in this. Well, it really wouldn't matter because I'm doing the layering anyways. I'm just going to give it a stir. Remember when you're stirring any chalk paints, um, the pigments really like to cling to the sides, so give the sides and the bottom a good scraping. Just going to give a good wad on the plate. And it doesn't matter that it's mixing with the glue because of course it's going over glue anyways. So going all in the same direction again, I'm just going to cake this on. And it's not doing a full coverage because the glue is getting tacky already. And I've realized that's probably better not to really brush it in and make sure like this, the first coat I was giving a really good coverage and this one I don't want quite as well of a coverage. So what have you guys been up to? Somebody please talk to me so I'm not just rambling here and talking to myself. I like to know that you're interested in what I'm doing and get feedback. I am one that can talk a lot, so it's not usually a problem, but I do feel silly. And you know, with all the social distancing, which is a really horrible word because we're not totally social distancing, right? We are just doing it in a different way, our social lives now. Um, we are more like physically distancing ourselves, I think. Um, it's nice to get some conversations going on here. I don't really talk to a lot of people, so. Hi, Beth. So we're just putting a layer of this on. And like I said, it's kind of thick and I'm not getting full coverage already. And as that glue dries, it's going to crackle. And then it's got to sit. Um, I can take the um, dryer to it, but it's kind of loud and I don't want to, you know, make you guys deal with that. So there we go. I think that's probably good enough. It's all kind of lumpy and bumpy and separating already as the glue is going. So you can see it's not a good coat, but it's going to crackle and it's going to do some awesome flaking and stuff. And I think that's really going to be cool. And then I'm going to go over it tomorrow after it's dry. You know, if life doesn't get too crazy, we do want to go feed the birds tomorrow. We're going to take a little trip. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer, plus two. Woohoo, that's so warm. Um, we're supposed to just head down to one of the, um, we've got a little lake down the road. And there was some swans there the other day, and uh, I have some dried out bread. It seems weird to waste food at this point, but it's dried out and no one's going to eat it. So we're going to go feed the birds tomorrow. That's our, that's our woohoo! Get out and actually enjoy some nice sunshine, I hope. And my will have fun with that. So that's my plan for tomorrow. And then I'm going to jump back on and do my third coat. So my third coat, I think I'm going to go with an antique villa. So it's kind of like a creamy white, something rustic. And I'm going to peel off my um, green tape at that point, and I'm going to paint the whole thing white. And I'm still going to have glue around the edges on this part, and so it'll crackle too, and then you'll hopefully see all three layers plus the wood layer underneath. And the center will be somewhat smooth so that I can do a chalk couture transfer on it, and then it's going to look like it's all rustic and cracky all around it. That's my hope. Hope, hope, hope. Um, actually, I might do one more layer before that because I'd like to get some blue into this because the transfer is kind of like the boating thing. The green is nice, the yellow is cool, but I might do a layer of blue in there first and then do the white. Can't help but uh, like all the different layers that are going to pop through, I think. Fingers crossed. Anyways, nobody's talking to me and I'm just rambling, so I'm going to jump off and I'm going to let this dry. Um, get the little one off to bed and then I will come back tomorrow and hopefully you guys are more chatty by then Because like I'm really talking to myself here <laughs> All right guys, you have a great night and um, Yeah, I'm just gonna double check because maybe my comments just aren't showing up and that would be very rude of me um, So let me just peek here I see people's faces like the little icons of you 
but I don't see any comments, so. Nope, I got a heart, that's it. No comments. So we're not very chatty tonight. I really wish you would chat with me though because I need the social social interaction and I think it's good for you guys too, especially if you're around doing this whole um, physical distancing from other people. But maybe we'll be more chatty tomorrow. Ooh, it's starting to crackle. It really, really is. It's getting all these fine little cracks here. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank you. Love yous. Keep safe and healthy.